And welcome to another edition of Real Sports Live Southwest as we bring you the 2019 Waterburger of Alice Border Olympics from Laredo, Texas. Freddy Dea bringing you all the live action today and throughout the weekend. Thursday, Friday, Saturday, we have a slate of games, four, three games today, four tomorrow, and then two on Saturday as we picked uh, the best games of this tournament. There's 48 teams in this tournament. Best of the best from 4A, 5A, 6A. Come to this big showcase presented to you by Waterburger of Alice and RealSportsLiveSouthwest.com. We uh, are getting set for this contest. We're live from the United ISD Student Activity Center. We want to thank Bobby Cruz and uh, the United ISD for always welcoming us to use the facilities and make sure that we bring you all the live action and of course the student athletes from around the region region four as this region has rich history in baseball uh, of course from the valley edinburgh north edinburgh vela westlico amongst other teams la jolla a year ago uh, also playing uh, in the playoffs Eagle Pass coming into the 2019 season with a returning crew of 13 returners of a year ago that saw two rounds of playoffs as uh, we get set for another edition of Real Sports Live Southwest. Uh, make sure you guys follow us on all our social media. Facebook, we have two Facebook pages, our Real Sports Live in the Valley and Real Sports Live Southwest. So follow us, like us, and share us because we have pictures and videos and highlight reels. Uh, also on our Twitter, go at Real Sports Live and at Real Sports Live SW. Also, go to our websites, realsportslive.com and realsportslivesouthwest.com as we have the upcoming games on our homepage. Also, we have previous games and news and sports news. So we got you covered here from Laredo, Texas, the 2019 Waterburger Valles Boulder Olympics. We'll be back with more after this. You're watching Real Sports Live Southwest.com. Stat Emergency. Center is here to offer emergency services any day of the week and around the clock. We know that our patients deserve better than the typical cramped waiting areas and long lines. Get the care you deserve. Get treated, not seated. Supplements and lifestyles at Modena Aguilas. Come in and visit our store or our website at www.kfsubs.com. Don't miss the opportunity to be something you can be. Kumu Fitness, located at 575 from Mercer Street, Eagle Pass, Texas. Stop by anytime, 24/7. Work out on your own time at Kumu Fitness. And we're back live as well. we had the opportunity to talk to Coach Mendoza, Ray Ray Mendoza, or uh, Reynold Mendoza, excuse me, his son is Ray Ray, uh, Reynold Mendoza uh, yesterday uh, after practice um, before this tournament and his thoughts of how the season home opener uh, against CC Win went and of course uh, how uh, this uh, tournament uh, is always one of the best tournaments that he likes to go to. So uh, we're going to... Um, our interview with uh, Renault Mendoza. Eagle Bay Baseball, Real Sports Live Southwest, Freddy Rea with Coach Mendoza. Coach Mendoza had a great game against CC Win, 4 3. That game was exciting. You can catch all the highlights in the game on our YouTube channel. Coach, what was a successful game? Ray Ray started the game. Check came in in relief and then you had your closer uh, Edward Mendoza how did you feel about that game coach oh um, it was like an exciting game um, when anytime you start the season with the win it's always a good thing so overall things ended up working out and uh, it was it was good. it was very enjoyable Border 
Olympic at Edinburgh North coming up uh, on Thursday. Of course, you have uh, other teams in that tournament. Five games in this uh, big 48 team tournament. How do you about this year's 2019 uh, team going into that tournament? Well, World Olympics always tough. You know, we uh, we go in there, we play five games, and and uh, it's early in the season, and you know we we kind of try to figure out we're gonna we're gonna figure out what what, what we have and what we need to do to. to uh, get us to the next level. With uh, with. Now, coach, of course, in between the two tournaments, you also have a game uh, uh, on the twenty sixth. against Antonian you go over there uh, at uh, at Antonian uh, the travel and of course having those tournaments how do you prepare the guys to be mentally tough in these tournaments well the thing is that uh, we're playing a lot of baseball and we just got to make sure we get plenty of rest and you know and these guys uh, uh, we've been doing a lot of lifting and, and uh, we've been doing everything that we need to be ready so once once we start the season you know we're playing games and and uh, as long as we, we everybody stays healthy then we should be okay Coach, thank you very much. This is Real Sports Live Southwest.com. So that was uh, just a little bit uh, of what Coach uh, has in store for the season. Of course, through this, uh, we also have uh, our player of the week or player of the game for the CC win, um, Victor Perry Jr., who had a base clearing double in the sixth inning uh, to put the Eagles on top four to three. Uh, and uh, we'll have that interview uh, shortly in between innings, uh, and he's going to talk to you guys about uh, his uh, kind of uh, what he felt throughout the, uh, that experience and, of course, uh, being named player of the game. Um, as we get, uh, get going, the home team will be the Eagles. Eagle Pass will be the home team, and Edinburgh North Cougars will be the visiting team, and they'll be... Uh, facing um, on the mound, Eric Heredia. Um, and uh, Eric Heredia will be facing uh, Johnny Almedia. And he'll be playing shortstop. The number two hitter for the Cougars is Kenneth Job, And he'll be on the mound for the Cougars. Uh, Araulio Guajardo, the center fielder, will be batting third. The cleanup is Robert Flores. He's behind the plate. Carlos Acosta is the first baseman, and he'll be the fifth batter in the lineup for the Edinburgh North Cougars. Um, also, Jacob Alvarado, he'll be playing third base, and he'll be batting sixth. Batting seventh, Ivan Garza, and he'll be playing right field. Mikey Contreras will be playing left field and batting eighth, and Matt Gaitan will be playing second and hitting ninth for the Edinburgh North Um so we have a slate of games. Also, we will uh, be heading to um, the next uh, field that we'll be at uh, will be Kruger Field this afternoon. We have a 6 o'clock and an 8.15 game over at Kruger Field. So catch those two games on our website, www.realsportslivesouthwest.com. And uh, we're going to also have um, the Eagles fi uh, finish off the night at 8.15 over at Kruger. Um, so for the Eagles, defensively behind Eric Heredia, his battery mate is Orly Garza. Uh, over at first base is Braulio Rodriguez. Over at second, Jacob Reese. Uh, over at shortstop is Isaac Gonzalez. Over at third is Rolly Risa. Uh, patrolling center field is Ray Ray Mendoza. In left field is Victor Perry. And in right is Edward Mendoza. That's uh, the team behind Eric Heredia. As Eric is a returning letterman, he'll be, uh, he was the number two pitcher last year for Coach Reynold Mendoza. And uh, he had a pretty successful district season. Uh, as uh, He's one of 13 guys returning from a year ago. Uh, in that second round loss to Edinburgh Vela. We will have Vela later in the in the week. Uh, we will be um, 
doing their game against Westside over at Slaughter Park, uh, I believe, uh, Friday uh, Friday afternoon. So make sure you catch that one if you're an Edinburgh Vela fan. Uh, guys, I can't stress enough, go to our YouTube channel because we uh, had to make sure that we had our viewers we already had 5,000 plus viewers subscribe to our Real Sports Live uh, one in uh, the Valley. Now we uh, talked about it and we said, guess what? Uh, we need to make sure that we give the fans over in the Southwest area, Laredo, Eagle Pass, Del Rio, and South San Antonio, and everything between, uh, their own kind of special um, YouTube channel. So make sure you guys go subscribe to that one. Uh, and uh, just like you do the Real Sports Live uh so we get uh, ready for the first pitch from the Student Activity Center in Eagle Pass versus Edinburgh North Cougars. So we're in the top of the first, and uh, we got Marky Sanchez as our camera operator helping us out. Shout out to him. Marky doing a good job uh, getting started and getting you all the sights on the field. So Heredia on the mound today. Johnny Almeida will be leading off. And uh, Heredia will be facing the leadoff hitter, Almedia. And that was uh, a ball, ball one. The ground ball to third, that goes foul. Evens out the count at one ball and one strike on the leadoff hitter at media. We're gonna be busy tomorrow morning, also Friday morning. We're gonna have an early morning game, nine o'clock. Make sure you guys catch Eagle Pass CC win under the direction of first year head coach, uh, Heriberto Royce. They'll be playing. And that's a strike called on a changeup. And he's ahead in the count, one ball and two strikes. So one and two the count on the leadoff hitter. Swing and a miss, strike three, the ball gets. So Almedia goes down swinging for out number one. There's the Eagles. Pitching staff uh, who has a slew of pitchers. So Kenny Job is the pitcher. So it's a pitcher pitcher matchup uh, right now. And Kenneth Job is wearing number eight on his jersey. And on deck is Regio Guajardo. Number 10 is uh, on deck, the center fielder. So one out here in the top half of the first. That one is low, ball one. Staying low, ball two.
On deck uh, is Robert Flores, the catcher for the Edinburgh North Cougars. So runner at second is Job, the pitcher. Not quite sure if they have a courtesy runner. And it doesn't look like it. Checks the runner over at uh, second. Starts him off with a curveball. Strike one. And number four will be courtesy running. And that's Jorge Olivares. Excuse me, Jorge Oyervides, excuse me, is the runner at second base now with one out. And no balls, one strike count on the hitter, Guajardo. Oyervide is taking the lead there. Time is called. Hey, and he is safe at uh, second base as a pickoff play. So no balls in one strike after that pickoff play. And we're live on our YouTube channel and our website, www.realsportslifesouthwest.com. I want to thank all our advertisers who made uh, this possible. Uh, one of our newest ones, Victor E. Perry. The law office is a Victor E. Perry. That one in the dirt. Ball one. Nice block by the catcher. So one one count. So he takes his time and uh, he steps off the rubber. So one ball, one strike on the hitter, Guajardo. <clears throat> in the dirt, ball two. Two balls and a strike on the hitter, Guajardo. So two balls and one strike, one out, top half of the first. We started a bit uh, a bit late here in this game. That ball fouled. And that's the Baldes Tire Record Service foul ball. So now a even count, two balls and two strikes on the hitter, Guajardo. Heredia will look in to the signs from the catcher, Orly Garza. Want to say hello to everybody back home in Eagle Pass and surrounding areas, uh, people who can't uh, make the, the game. That ball is fouled. And that one our way. And that's the Baldes Tayo Record Service foul ball. Two two pitch, and that's a fastball that gets past the catcher. And three balls and two strikes. Three and two count on the hitter. Three 
Three balls, two strikes, runner at third now. Three two pitch on its way. And that one is a walk issued. So now runners at first and third. For the catcher, Robert Flores, number 13, will step up to the plate. So Heredia has runners at the corners, first and second, first and third, excuse me, with one out. That was a ball. Over at first, runner goes, the ball is hit deep into left field, and it gets to the warning track. Runner will be caught between second and third, and he's caught it. Uh, so the play that hit was to deep uh, left field. And he'll get an RBI single out of it for Flores. Joe, or actually, Oyervides will come in for the first run. And Guajardo gets caught. Seven, four, five for out number two. So two outs in the inning. And there is a courtesy runner for the catcher now. And two outs in the inning. So if they get out of this with just allowing one run uh, in the top half of the first, it uh, bowls well for them. First pitch to Carlos Acosta, the first baseman. And that one is a Valdez Tire record service foul ball. The runner at first base. The runner was going in that last play. Ball hit hard to deep left field. Just past the outstretched hands of Victor Perry. Ball in the dirt. Ball one. It's a one and one count. So one, one count, two outs. That one outside, ball two. So two balls and one strike with the courtesy runner. It looks like it's number... That one in the dirt. Ball three. So three balls in one strike, and that's number 22 at first base. J.J. Rodriguez, the courtesy runner for the catcher.
And that one was a ball, and that's his second walk issued in this inning. So the third baseman, Jacob Alvarado, the sixth hitter in the lineup, will come to the plate. So runners at first and second with two outs. Ball one on Alvarado. Top half of the first. And that one's inside. Ball two. So two balls and no strikes. What's up? Mr. Rangel is in the house. Twenty nineteen Whataburger of Alice Border Olympics Day One Thursday. That one swing and a miss, strike one. So two balls and a strike now on the hitter. Wanna thank the Border Olympics and of course uh, UISD for giving us the opportunity to showcase the talent here in uh, around region four. Ball out at first base as they picked off Acosta on a pick play. And that's 1-3 for out number three. And Alvarado stays at bat. One run on two hits. No errors and one left on base. As the... Cougars of Edinburgh North take a 1-0 lead. We'll be back with more after this. You're watching Eagle Baseball on RealSportsLiveSouthwest.com. Saritas Tortilla Factory with three great locations to serve you in Maverick County. Come try our delicious barbacoa with the tortillas. Si son saritas, ni me las calientes. Also, you can get our tortillas in Laredo, Texas at your local supermarket. That's Saritas Tortilla Factory. Tortilla Factory. Hey guys, Eddie Sang, owner of Kumu Fitness, located at 575 Commercial Street in downtown Eagle Pass. We invite you guys to come join us. We got equipment for everything from machines to free weights to bumpers. You name it, we got it. Come check us out, guys. Rody's Country Fried Chicken, located in 1910 El Indio Highway, wants to wish the Eagle Pass Eagles and the CC Wood Mavericks a successful 2018-2019 season. Order online through Facebook and save 10% on your purchase. From the Rodriguez family, come by before or after the game and enjoy some great food. That's it. Back live, Real Sports Live Southwest 2019 Waterburger of Alice Border Olympic Baseball Tournament. As we bring you baseball in February, of course, uh, big tournaments around the state of Texas, and uh, we got uh, another one coming up uh, the Comal ISD tournament. Always big, always bring some good. Uh, good teams to that to, that's next week uh, that's next weekend and of course the uh, San Antonio Classic and we're in the bottom half of the first inning Ray Ray Mendoza will lead off the lead off as uh, he he pitched uh, five innings uh, gave up uh, 
three runs. Actually, only one was earned. Th uh, two of them came on errors. Uh, struck out. Struck out seven. Strike one on Mendoza. As the pitcher on the mound is number eight, Argelio Guajardo is the pitcher for the Edinburgh North Cougars. And that ball is smoked into the gap and falls in for a single as Ray Ray will get on first base. to center field. Coming to bat, the first baseman, number 21, Braulio Rodriguez. Now the first baseman, Braulio Rodriguez, will Rodriguez swings and misses, strike one. Very aggressive hitter uh, at the plate. No balls, one strike on the hitter. Braulio Rodriguez, a senior, first baseman. Mendoza takes his lead over at first. And Guajardo checks the runner, and Mendoza at first does not throw to, to first. Runner goes, and that one is hit by a pitch as he trots over to first. Now Isaac Gonzalez. So Ray Ray in that game one season opener, he uh, went uh, two for four, two for three, excuse me, with a, uh, with a walk and a run scored. Isaac uh, went one for three with two strikeouts. So runners at first and second with no outs here in the bottom half of the first. First pitch inside, ball one. Dog ball is hit to the second baseman, and it is safe. Fielder's choice. Now batting for the Eagles, the DH hitter, J.C. Jimenez. So now CJ Jimenez. So two balls and one strike on C.J. Jimenez with bases loaded. That ball hit into right field. One run will score. 
Rodriguez will round third and go into home, and he is out at home. So an RBI single to right field. Braulio gets gunned down at home, ties up the ball game. And Isaac is at second base. Sorry about that. We uh, had some uh, some difficulties. For some reason, our camera froze, or, or now it's back. So, strike one. And one out. Nonetheless, you had the uh, the audio. So one out with runners at first and second. And a tight ball game. Mendoza pops it up. Right side. And that one falls in. For a Valdez Tire record service foul ball. So still one out and so Wajardo on the mound trying to get everything squared away. It uh, happens like that sometimes with technical difficulties. And that ball is ripped into center field. Falls in as Gonzalez will round third and stay at third. A nice single for Mendoza. Edward, the sophomore, into center field. It's a third hit. And now bases loaded again for the Eagles. Now Jacob uh, Reese with one out and bases loaded. That one a ball. That one outside, ball two. So when you uh, when you come to tournaments like this, and it's a three-day tournament, you have to have a uh, a pitching pin of plenty of pitchers because you can go through them. And that's a Baldes Tire record service foul ball. So two balls and one strike. So the count, two balls and a strike. And that one popped up right side. And that one just falls in a foul ball. And that's a Valdez Tire record service foul ball. Makes a count, two balls and two strikes. Over at first is Mendoza. Over in second is CJ Jimenez. And over at third is Isaac Gonzalez. So 2-2 two -two count on Jacob Ruiz, the sophomore second baseman for Coach Mendoza. 
corners in. Everybody playing back uh, middle infield. And swing and a miss on a changeup. And Reese swings through the pitch for out number two. And Rolando Risa now will step up to the plate with two outs and bases loaded. Bottom half of the first inning here from Laredo, Texas. First pitch is a strike. So one ball, no strikes, two outs, bases loaded. That one just misses. Ball one, one ball, one strike on the hitter, Rolando Risa. Want to send a shout out to his dad, who is in West Texas. Oh, probably watching the game or... And then a rounder towards first base, the first baseman decides to Pitch it to the pitcher for out number three, and that retires the Eagles in the bottom half of the first. Risa grounds out to the first baseman, 3-1 for out number three, and that retires the Eagles. One run on three hits, one error, and three left on base for the Eagles. Tied at 1-1, go to the top half of the second. Watching Eagle Baseball on Real Sports Live Southwest.com. Hey guys, welcome to Cool Supplements and Lifestyle. My name is Eddie Sanchez. I'm the owner, and I invite you guys to come and join us any day of the week, Monday through Sunday, here at Mall Little Tiger. Really got it, uh, really got it, really got it, really got it, yeah. Stadiar does its testing and evaluations quickly without the delays of a traditional emergency room. We utilize the full services of a standard ER department, including CT scan, bedside emergency ultrasound, x-rays, and a full clinical laboratory with a focus on getting you taken care of without long wait times. STAT Emergency Center is here to offer emergency services any day of the week and around the clock. Get the care you deserve. Get treated, not seated. Valdez Tire Record Service located at 522 North Pier Street in Eagle Pass, Texas. With 24-hour roadside service, commercial tow, automotive repair shop, call us today at 830-757-3102. Valdez Tire Record Service wishes the Eagle Pass Eagles and the CC Win Mavericks a successful 2018-2019 season. And we're back live as we start the top half of the second. Still tied 1-1. We want to thank the offices of Victor E. Perry. 830-758-1200 for all types of motor vehicle accidents, personal injury, and family law. Call us today. Wanting to wish Victor Perry Jr. and Mikey Perry a successful 2019. So Jacob Alvarado will dig in. No balls, one strike on the hitter. And that one outside and misses. One ball, one strike on the hitter. That one falls in for a strike, strike two. So he's ahead in the count, one ball and two strikes. One and two the count, the pitch. Another swing and a miss, strike three as it gets his first, second strikeout of the day, out number one. So one out here in the 
top half. So Ivan Garza now, the hitter, the number seven hitter, the right fielder, will dig in. First pitch outside, strike one. So no balls, one strike on the hitter. Defensively. Fouls it off, and that's the Baldes Tire Record Service. Foul ball. Make sure you guys uh, share this YouTube video on all your social media. If you have Twitter, if you have uh, Facebook, if you have Snapchat, if you have uh, Instagram, go share it. Make sure everybody knows that we're on live from the 2019 Waterburger of Alice Border Olympics from Eagle from Laredo, Texas. And that one misses low, ball one. So one ball, two strikes on the hitter. Reset third, Gonzalez at short. Reset second with Braulio at first. That's the infield for the Eagle Pass Eagles. The one-two pitch on its way. And that one tip foul. That one got a piece of Garza. And uh, that one is Sweet Tweets Bakery. Foul ball. Just throwing out a shout out to Miss Chacon from Sweet Tweets Bakery. Does that one hit uh, Mr. Garza behind the plate? One-two pitch. Base is empty here. And blows it by him for out number two as Garza goes down swinging for the second out. And that's the third strikeout for Heredia with two walks and giving up a couple of hits here in the first two innings in this ball game. Coming up the bat for the Cougars, the left fielder, number seven, Mikey Contreras. So two outs in the inning. And Mikey Contreras, the left fielder. See a ball low. One ball and no strikes on the hitter, Contreras. That one a strike. Over in left is Victor Perry. Over in center is Curveball that gets in for a strike. So one ball and two strikes on the hitter. Er, uh, excuse me, Mikey Contreras. One two pitch on its way with two outs. Heredia. Swing and a miss, strike three as he gets uh, the six, seven, and eight down swinging and a one two three inning for. The Eagles, no runs, no hits, no errors, no one left on base. As the Eagles come up to bat, Victor Perry will lead off the inning. And we're going to give you guys uh, a little snippet of what he talked about as our interview with Victor Perry uh, this uh, half inning. Real Sports, like you're watching Eagle Baseball on realsportslifesouthwest.com. Sports Life Southwest, Freddie Dea, as we bring you an interview with our player of the game for CC Win High School in Eagle Pass on Monday night. Victor Perry, number 15, had a double base clearing in the six to plate three runs and take a 4 3 lead. Take me through the sequence of, uh, of that at bat for you, Victor, and uh, after you got that double at second base. 
Um, you know, he, he throws a lot of curveballs, so I was looking at a curveball, and he just got brought in. So coach told me to take a pitch. Uh, the first pitch I took, it was a strike. Next pitch was kind of high. Um, next pitch, he threw me a curveball. Coach called time and had me relax and told me to take a deep breath and just trust myself and whatever's hitting my wheelhouse to hit hard. And next pitch, next thing you know, he right in my wheelhouse, and I was able to put it to the left field and help my team get a win. As that win was 4-3, and they get the victory and go 1-0 and overall. And their next uh, opponent will be Edinburgh North on uh, Thursday at the Border Olympics. What has Coach told you about uh, this tournament coming up uh, this weekend? Um, he's told us, I mean, we, we have a good pool. So last year we had a pretty good outing at the beginning, and then we kind of fell short. So we're hoping to hopefully go at least 4-1 and one or 5-0 and oh and expect good competition, a lot of scouts, and just to play hard and help us get wins. Make sure you catch Eagle Baseball on realsportslifesouthwest.com. And that was the interview with our player of the game for the CC win game, Victor Perry, and he's leading off the inning, followed by Orly Garza and Eric Heredia. As uh, we uh, go to the bottom half of the second, still tied at 1-1. One, one. Still on the mound for the Cougars is uh, Job. First pitch he sees, fouls it off. Right side, and that's a Rhodey's Country Fried Chicken foul ball. That one outside, ball one. So one ball, one strike. Everybody watching back uh, at uh, in Eagle Pass. Hello from us. RealSportsLiveSouthwest.com as we are in Laredo, Texas. Eagle Baseball on RealSportsLiveSouthwest.com. A grounder to third. That one is a foul ball. Fouled off uh, the end of his foot and he's One ball and two strikes on the hitter. No outs as a leadoff hitter, the number eight hitter for the Eagles, Victor Perry. We're in the bottom half of the second. And fouls that one off the head of the catcher. And that's a Rhodey's Country Fried Chicken. Foul ball. So one ball and two strikes on the hitter. Joe bon Guajardo on the mound. And that ball is fouled off. Two pitch from Guajardo in the dirt. Ball two. So two balls and two strikes on the hitter. So the 2 2 pitch, base is empty. Ball fouled off. That's a Rhodey's Country Fred Chicken foul ball.
2-2 pitch. Strike three, and he gets him looking for out number one. He goes down for the first out, and he records his second strikeout of the game. That's what Hardo, excuse me. That's uh, Kenneth that. Job, Orly Garza. One out in the inning. Garza sees a, a strike on the outside corner. One ball, actually no balls and one strike. Time is called. Garza the catcher, he's a senior. That one falls inside for strike two. Went in the dirt, try to get him to chase. One ball and two strikes on the hitter. One ball, two strike or two ball, one ball, two strikes, one out. When the top half of the second, I went in the dirt. Ball two evens out the count at two balls and two strikes. That one outside, ball three. So full count. We'll check the uh, the broadcast schedule for this week uh, or for these three days. Three two count. Job on the Three-two pitch and drills it into the gap in right center field. And Orly Garza is on with a single. And uh, our next uh, game is uh, at 6 o'clock at Kruger Field with uh, Doby and, uh, versus Brandeis, San Antonio Brandeis, and then Eagles versus Stevens at 8 o'clock. And then tomorrow morning, 9 a.m., CC Win versus Del Rio at Kruger Field. And then we move to Unitrade uh, at 1.30. Uh, as the uh, Eagles play against Corpus Christi Moody. And then our 6 o'clock is Edinburgh Vela versus Westside uh, at, in, at Slaughter Field. And then we finish off the night with Egg Couch Elsa and the Eagles on Friday night. And then Saturday morning at 11, United Longhorns in San Benito at United Campus. And then uh, we have New Braunfels Canyon versus Eagles. And that's our uh, weekend broadcast schedule. And then uh, we continue on the 26th where we're on the road at Antonian. So that uh, is what we do. Runner goes, and that's Lopez. And he has a stolen base. The courtesy runner, number 13, David Lopez, who is uh, an integral part uh, of this team. Ray Ray Mendoza has a 
believe uh, I'll check right now. One and one count, I believe. That one inside. So it's a one one count. One out in the inning. And runner at fur or at second now. That ball hit hard to the second base. Second baseman over to first. That ball gets the first baseman off the bag, and he will be safe. An error on the throw. As uh, Guy Lopez will move to third. And Ray Ray is safe at first. So runners at the corners at first and third with one out in the inning for the batter. Braulio Rodriguez, the first baseman. And there's a... Uh, Conference with the umpires. Runner goes to second to throw down to third. So Mendoza is safe at second. So with one out and Rodriguez has a uh, so second and third now with that stolen base. Mendoza, and that one just missed. Ball one. Pitch inside, catches the inside corner for strike two. So one ball and two strikes on the hitter, Rodriguez. And catches the outside corner for strike three. And he goes down looking for out number two for Isaac Gonzalez now with two outs and runners in scoring position. Ball one, inside low. It's tied at 1-1, bottom of the second. One run on the top of the first and one in the bottom. Ball hit to second base, second baseman. And gets the out at first for out number three as the Eagles strand two. And that's a 4-3 put out for out number three. And that retires the Eagles. No runs on one hit, one error, and two left on base. Two innings complete from Laredo, Texas, UISD Student Activity Center. Eagles one, Cougars one. We're back with more. After this, you're watching Eagle Baseball on RealSportsLiveSouthwest.com. EP 
MER Recycling Center. 3323 Del Rio Boulevard, open Monday through Friday, 8.30 a.m. to 5.30 p.m. and Saturdays from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. But don't throw it away. Recycle it today at 3323 Del Rio Boulevard. For more information on how to turn your scrap into cash, call 758-0685 or find us on Facebook. We go to the uh, top of the third for the Cougars of Edinburgh North, and he'll be facing second baseman Gaitan, followed by the top of the order, Admedia and Job. Edia will start his starting in work. First pitch he sees. A ball flight out. And that one is caught in left field. A great grab by Victor Perry. Diving, sacrificing his body for his pitcher. And that one is a fly out to left field for out number one. As he comes up uh, after that one. So they're gonna check on him. That was, uh, it looks like he's fine. He's telling everybody he's good to go. So that's a great catch from Victor Perry. So one out here in the top half of the third. One pitch, one out for Heredia here in the third inning. First pitch uh, to Almedia is a ball outside. So we're going to miss strike one. So one ball, one strike on the hitter. That one misses low, ball two. Two balls and one strike on the hitter. Almedia, who struck out swinging his first time up back in the first. Ground ball to third base. That one is that one called that out. Is they're gonna have a little conference. So they're checking uh, to see if that ball hit the batter in the batter's box. And so Armedia is called out 5-3 for out number two. And now the And 
Almedia who hit that rope. It's swing and a miss. Strike one. Job roped a uh, a double into left field for his first at bat, so he's one for one. And the lone run came from his courtesy runner, Oyarvides. No ball, one strike on the hitter. That's another curveball, misses away. So one, one the count. I say hi to uh, to my wife back home, who's sitting in an office watching the game. Can't be here, but we're here and we're live. Ground ball to third. Ball stopped. And courtesy runner, Oyarvides, will come in. So another. Aurelio uh, Guajardo, who reached on a walk. So that one's an infield hit for the pitcher. Ball hit down to third base and Risa So now runner at first is the courtesy runner. That one's high, ball one. Two outs in the inning with a runner at first. And Carlos Flores is on deck. He has an RBI single to left field. That one just high. Ball fouled, and now the count, two balls and one strike. That's a uh, Rhodey's Country Fried Chicken foul ball. Ball in the dirt. And Oyarvides will stay put at first. Ball three. So three balls, one strike on the hitter. Guajardo, the center fielder. Reached on a walk that is last time up. Heredia will come set after the sign. Checks the runner at first. And the ball hit to center field. Back, back, back is Mendoza. And he gets under that one for out number three. And that's why we have him at center field. That tall six foot four frame, six foot five, can cover some tracks. And he gets the third out of the inning. That uh, retires Edinburgh, the Cougars. No runs on one hit, no errors, and one left on base. After two and a half, Eagles won, Cougars won. We'll be back with more after this. You're watching Eagle Baseball on Real Sports Live, Southwest.com.
Hi, this is Roque Vela Jr., owner, operator of JetBull North. And on behalf of my family and JetBull North staff, I'd like to wish every student athlete a safe and successful year. Grocery located in downtown Eagle Pass, La Tienda de los Venados supports our local high schools. Come visit us as we remodel our store through the Main Street program. Come see our displays of our holiday party items. Come visit our meat market and enjoy our renowned homemade chickens at Eagle Grocery, La Tienda de los Venados. So we're back and we're in the bottom half of the inning, the third inning. And uh, do up is Jimenez, Mendoza, and Ruiz. Do up in this half inning. Uh, still pitching on the mound for Edinburgh North is number eight, Kenneth Job. So 1-1, one, one, tied. Both uh, teams got on the board in that first inning. Top of the first for Edinburgh and uh, for Eagles, the top, uh, the bottom of the half. So now CJ Jimenez will uh, get in, uh, he has the RBI single to right his first time up in the first pitch he sees off the end of the bat, back to the pitcher, and he retires Jimenez, 1-3 for out number one. So one pitch, one out. So now Mendoza, the sophomore. Will come up to bat. First pitch he sees. They are uh, on top of that one and Mendoza grounds out to the pitcher for out number two. So two pitches, two outs for Job here in this bottom half of the third. Very efficient there with pitching two and getting two outs. Like I mentioned earlier in the broadcast, make sure you guys go and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Uh, share it with all your friends and family. So mom, dad, grandma, grandpa, and uncle, everybody, anybody can watch this, uh, this games from the 2019 Whataburger of Alice Border Olympics Baseball Tournament, 48 teams in this uh, showcase swing and a miss strike one so one ball one strike on Jacob Reese the number six hitter so two outs in the inning one one count and Reese gets the uh, the ball belt level, belt high, and the umpire called it strike. So now he's behind the count, one ball and two strikes with two outs here in the inning. Bottom half of the third. One two pitch on its way from Job. And goes top shelf to try and see if he can make him chase it. Reese. Uh, was patient enough to let it go. Two balls, two strikes now on Reese. Two balls, two strikes, two outs. One, one tied, bottom half of the third. And fouled it off. That's the EPER recycling foul ball. So base is empty here in the bottom of the third, two, two. The 3:03. We started a bit late. The game should have started at one, uh, about 1:30. The game before, between Madison and the Robstown Cotton Pickers, went uh, went past. Uh, so count three balls, two strikes on the hitter Reese, who struck out his first time up swinging. 3-2 pitch on its way. Swing and a miss, strike three. 
As Reese goes down swinging for the second time in the day. And that's the third out as Job records a 1-2-3 inning. No runs, no hits, no errors, no one left on base. And we got three complete from uh, Laredo, Texas. This half inning is brought to you by Victor, the law offices of Victor E. Perry. 830-758-1200. And we'll be back with more after this. Today at 3323 Del Rio Boulevard. For more information on how to turn your scrap into cash, call 758-0685 or find us on Facebook. Back live, and uh, Heredia still on the mound, working his fourth inning. He'll have Flores, Acosta, and Alvarado uh, do up the four, five, and six hitters for the Edinburgh North Cougars. Strike one. As the catcher, Robert Flores, first time up, hit a single to left field for an RBI single and brought that run in. That one, one ball and one strike because that one misses low and away. That one again to third base. That one off the heel of the third baseman. And uh, E5. Coming up to that, the first baseman, number 17, Carlos Acosta. So now Carlos Acosta with the runner at first. Tied at 1-1. And uh, again, the swing and a miss, foul ball. The runner is J.J. Rodriguez, is the courtesy runner for the catcher. Uh, on deck is Jacob Alvarado, the third baseman for Edinburgh North. Top four. Time is called. Acosta walked his first time up. I got uh, Treviso, Alex Treviso here. That one is a ball missed outside, so one and one count. Shout out to Alex Treviso. And, uh, of course, our camera operator is Marky Sanchez. want to thank him for uh, helping us out today. One, one count. That one in the dirt. Ball two.
count, two balls, one strike on the hitter, Acosta. No outs in the inning. Flores reached on an error, third baseman. Ball roped to the left field and into left for a single. As the ball was left over the plate and a single for Acosta. So now runners at uh, first and second with no outs. Jacob Alvarado now with runners at first and second. And no outs in the inning. Jacob struck out swinging his first time up back in the second. A bunt. Heredia will field it and get the runner forced out at third. So one five for out number one as he forced out. Alvarado bunt sacrificed and a sack bunt will reach uh, first base. So now runners at first and second with one out. Ivan Garza. Struck out back in that uh, second inning for Edinburgh. And outside, Vince's ball one. One catches the outside corner, strike one, one ball, one strike. Runners take their lead at first and second. Garza has a one one count. The pitch. That one crossed up uh, Garza. One is a ball, two balls and a strike. Misses outside, three balls and a strike now on the hitter. Three one count, top of the fourth. Hitters count here. Ball lifted in the air. And under it, Rolly Risa for out number two. Two outs, runners stay put. And two down in the inning for the hitter now, Mikey Contreras, who struck out his first time up back in the second. That was that one, two, three inning that Heredia had uh, where he had all three strikeouts. So runners at first and second for Edinburgh North. Strike one, the inside corner. That one's in the dirt. 
So we have a showcase, 48 teams, and we got some scouts from uh, the different colleges around the state of Texas also here looking at all the uh, student athletes here in this uh, tournament, seeing to see if they can catch a, a recruiter's eye and get that uh, second opportunity at the next level, the collegiate level of uh, extending their academic and athletic uh, fouls that one off strike two and that's the EPER recycling foul ball one ball and two strikes the count now on Contreras Hitting the count now. One ball and two strikes. Still 1-1. One, one, the score. Time is called. So one and two. The count. Two outs. Runners at first and second. The one-two pitch on its way. Ground ball, second baseman gets to it, and Reese, as they get the uh, the ground ball, and Reese gets to it, was not able to make the play. As, uh, that's an infield hit. For Contreras, so now bases loaded for the for the Cougars here in the bottom or top half of the fourth. Is uh, we have now two outs and the hitter now the number nine hitter Matt Gaitan who flew out to left field his first time up. Ball hit first pitch. And foul territory. Braulio Rodriguez gets under that one for out number three. And that retires Edinburgh as they leave three on. In this uh, top half of the fourth. So no runs on two hits, one error. And three left on base for Edinburgh as we finish three and a half from the Student Activity Center in Laredo, Texas. 1-1 as we go to the bottom half. You're watching Eagle Baseball on RealSportsLiveSouthwest.com. Hi, this is Roque Vela Jr., owner, operator of JetBull North. And on behalf of my family and JetBull North staff, I'd like to wish every student athlete a safe and successful year. Grocery located in downtown Eagle Pass, La Tienda de los Venados supports our local high schools. Come visit us as we remodel our store through the Main Street program. Come see our displays of our holiday party items. Come visit our meat market and enjoy our renowned homemade chickens at Eagle Grocery, La Tienda de los Venados. And we're back live. We're in the bottom half of the fourth inning. Still tied at 1-1. And we want to thank all our audience who's logged on and tuned in to our website and also uh, to our uh, YouTube channel. Make sure you guys subscribe and follow us. And all our social media because we're going to have highlights of this game uh, also. You can also watch our 24-hour 
uh, 24-7 TV station on our website and catch all the action as uh, Rolly Risa will lead off the inning. And he bunts over to first and out at first just barely so again Job one pitch one out as Risa makes the pitcher kind of work here one three for out number one now batting the left fielder Victor Perry so now Victor Perry who uh, struck out looking his first time up back in the Ground ball to third that gets past the third baseman into left field for a single. And he gets on. He's one for two. So runner at first base. And now Orly Garza, the catcher, will dig in. Garza got a hit to right field his first time up. So he's one for one. Runner goes to third base. And Perry is safe at second. As uh, he slid at second. So Garza retired 5-3 for out number two. And now Ray Ray Mendoza, who's one for two, reached on an error and got a single back in the first with the lone run scoring. So two outs, strike one on the outside corner. Kenneth Job is in his uh, fourth inning of work. Runner at second base. Runner in scoring position. The ball in the dirt. One ball, one strike on the hitter. There's a conference uh, on the mound with uh, the head coach in, uh, of Edinburgh North. Also, Mendoza giving instruction to Perry over at third. So, 1-1 one, one count on Ray Ray Mendoza. Two outs. And a rip shot to the gap in right center field. Victor Perry comes in, cruising in. And that's a RBI double with two outs for Ray Ray Mendoza. And the score of the tight ball game now becomes 2 1. An RBI double for the Houston, University of Houston Cougars commit. Ray Ray Mendoza puts the Eagles on top as he gets it into the gap and shops at the gap. So now Braulio Rodriguez, first pitch he sees to sharply to the shortstop. One pitch and he's retired. 6-3 for out number three. And that retires the Eagles in the fourth, as we complete four innings, one run, 
on two hits, uh, no errors, and one left on base. So this 1-1 one, one tie now is 2-1 as we complete four. We go to the fifth. You're watching Eagle Baseball on Real Sports Live Southwest.com. Hi, this is Roque Vela Jr., owner-operator of Playmore Family Entertainment. And on behalf of my family and Playmore Family Entertainment staff, I'd like to wish every student athlete a safe and successful year. Hey, I'm Sal Italian from Brown Chevrolet of Eagle Pass, Texas. I invite you to come visit us. Come take a test drive of one of our new or pre-owned vehicles or come just visit our, our new facility. And just call Sal at 830-513-6675. Now the number is 830-513-6675. Thank you. Come to the crowd. STAT Emergency Center is here to offer emergency services any day of the week and around the clock. We know that our patients deserve better than the typical cramped waiting areas and long lines. Get the care you deserve. Get treated, not seated. Normal fitness, supplements, and lifestyles at Mall de las Aguilas. Come in and visit our store or our website at www. And we're back live as Heredia starts his fifth inning of work. And he'll be facing the top of the lineup. And first pitch, the ball hit to right field. Right fielder under that one, Edward Mendoza for out number one. So one pitch, one out. And we have uh, Kenneth Job, the pitcher for... Cougars of Edinburgh North. Don't forget to, uh, we got some basketball lined up tomorrow with Real Sports Live and Joe Bowling. Uh, we got some uh, 6A playoffs also. So make sure you guys uh, watch both of our channels because we got baseball and we got uh, basketball. So ball one on Job. Job is two for two. An infield hit to, and a hit to left. Swing and a miss, strike one. So one and one count. Base is empty. Eagles are on top. Swing and a miss, strike two. One-two pitch, swing and a miss, drops it off in the third floor right there. Is uh, he gets his fifth strikeout of the game, and now Argelio Gonzalez, excuse me, Argelio Guajardo, with uh, two outs in the inning. First pitch gets past the, uh, the catcher. Ball one. Do up uh, on the on deck circle is Roberto Flores, the catcher, who is one for two, reached on an error and got an RBI single. Ball hit, foul ball. Garza comes to get it, and under it for out number three is the Eagles get a one, two, three inning here in the bottom half of the top half of the fifth. And Eagle, the Cougars go up three, up and three down in that top half of the fifth. 
as we complete four and a half. No runs, no hits, no errors, no one left on base for the Cougars in the top half of the inning. You're watching Eagle Baseball on Real Sports Live Southwest.com. Com. Don't miss the opportunity to be something you can be. Kumu Fitness, located at 575 from Mercer Street, Eagle Pass, Texas. Stop by anytime, 24-7, work out on your own time at Kumu Fitness. Emergency Center is here to offer emergency services any day of the week and around the clock. We know that our patients deserve better than the typical cramped waiting areas and long lines. Get the care you deserve. Get treated, not seated. Kumu Fitness Supplements and Lifestyles at Mall de las Aguilas. Come in and visit our store or our website at www.kfsubs.com. Don't miss the opportunity to be something you can be. Kumu Fitness, located at 575 from Mercer Street, Eagle Pass, Texas. Stop by anytime, 24-7, work out on your own time at Kumu Fitness. And we're back live. 2-1 is the score. The Eagles... Getting two runs, one in the first and one in the fourth. We go to the bottom half of the fifth. Gonzalez, Jimenez, and Mendoza do up. Uh, Isaac Gonzalez, who is 0 for 2, reached on an error and grounded out to second, his second time up. Outside pitch, ball one. Job working his fifth inning work. Four and... Uh, and that ball is ripped into the gap. And... Ball thrown into second, and he is... Safe at second, just beat the throw at second base. And that was a nice throw by the center fielder. But uh, a nice slide by Gonzalez as he slid and got uh, under the tag as he gets a stand up door, gets a double, excuse me, to the gap in right center field. So the leadoff runner on. And there's going to be a conference between the coach and the umpire wanting to uh, get just a, an explanation on how he saw the uh, the play transpire in front of him. So, And uh, this half inning is brought to you by Ram Country Outer World, 1997 North Veterans Boulevard tax season where we say yes, yes, yes. Go by and take your tax return. And they will do your taxes, no questions asked. Even if you buy or not buy a car from Ram Country Outer World, go visit Grant Bibb over at Ram Country Outer World and his staff. 1997 North Veterans Boulevard in Eagle Pass, Texas. 830-872-3444 is the number to call to set up an appointment with one of their sales professionals. So now CJ Jimenez will... Uh, Dig in at the plate. He is uh, one for two with an RBI single back in the first. He brought in that first run. So runner at second in scoring position now, CJ Jimenez. First pitch he sees, drills it into towering left, uh, left field and under it for out number one. out in the inning and now the hitter Edward Mendoza so Isaac uh, is at second
And the first pitch he sees, he uh, hits it into foul territory. The first baseman gives chase. And falls foul, and that's the... EPER Recycling foul ball. Out in the inning with a runner in second base in scoring position and a curveball that catches. So he's uh, behind the count, no balls and two strikes here. That one just a bit outside. One ball, two strikes. One out. Ball hit to right field. Right fielder. Get under it, tagging at second. Going to third is Gonzalez. And he does his job And Mendoza. Flies out to right field for out number two, but advances the runner 90 feet closer. As uh, we have a runner at third base now with two outs in the inning in the bottom half of the fifth. And the pinch hitter. Hector Montoya will come up to bat. <laughs> so two outs in the inning, and Montoya will dig in. A pinch hitter for Jacob Reese. Two out the inning, two, one score. Some insurance here. As I think the, we're playing, the, the, there's I think a two hour time limit if I'm not mistaken. Inside pitch misses, ball one. So Montoya comes in to pinch hit for Ruiz who went over two with two strikeouts. Montoya Sr., strike one. Two year letterman. One of the returners of a year ago. Ground ball to the first baseman. Gonna make the play, flip it to, and he missed it. Oh, he gets him at first for out number three as the pitcher Job was finding the base. And he got him as Montoya grounds out. 3-1 for out number three. That retires the Eagles here in the bottom half. As we have five complete. That uh, double from Gonzalez leaves him stranded at third. No runs on one hit. No errors. And one left on base. After five complete. Eagles two. Edinburgh North 1. We'll be back with more after this. You're watching Real Sports Live, southwest.com. Sarita's Tortilla Factory with three great locations to serve you in Maverick County. Come try our delicious barbacoa with the tortillas. Si son Sarita's, ni me las calientes. 
Also, you can get our tortillas in Laredo, Texas at your local supermarket. That's Sarita's Tortilla Factory. Hey guys, Eddie Sanchez, owner of Kumu Fitness, located at 575 Commercial Street in downtown Eagle Pass. We and we're back live. I want to thank uh, all of our advertisers, Kumu Fitness and Kumu Fitness Lifestyles, Supplements and Lifestyles. Visit uh, www.ksubs.com. And... Uh, of course, EPR Recycling, uh, Saritas Tortilla Factory. So now Robert Flores, who is one for two, reached on an error and got an RBI single back in the first inning. Top of the six now, Heredia. Five innings of work. Yeah, zoom. First pitch to the catcher Flores. So Heredia will face the four, five, and six. Ball one. And that ball hit hard to left field. The left fielder under that one as he tracks it down. Victor Perry and gets under it for out. Number one, deep fly ball for Flores. And Heredia gets uh, Flores to fly out. So one out in this top half of the six. The game just moving along here. And that one just misses, ball one. Carlos Acosta grounded out to the pitcher. And actually walked, I'm sorry, walked and got caught uh, over at first base. Uh, pickoff play, and then uh, he got a hit back in the fourth. So behind the count now, two balls and no strikes on the hitter, Carlos Acosta. And that one ripped foul. And that's the Ram Country Outer World foul ball. We got Jacob Alvarado, the third baseman, on deck. As uh, we got fans from Edinburgh live on our YouTube channel checking out this game. Real Sports Live Southwest and on our website, realsportslivesouthwest.com. Two balls, one strike. And climbs the ladder. Three and one count now. Swing and a miss, makes it a 3-2 count now. Full count. One out in the inning. And a ball hit sharply. The third baseman, Risa, over to first and could not dig it out. Is Rodriguez over to second. And we will... Acosta gets uh, reaches on on an error by the third uh, by the first baseman. That ball was not dug up. Uh, scoop, no scoop uh, there for Braulio Rodriguez at first, and uh, Acosta safe at second now. Uh, Jacob Alvarado 
with a runner. Just misses low and in, low and outside ball one. So one out, runner at second. Jacob Alvarado is 0 for 2. As he reached on a fielder's choice, a sacrifice bunt back in the fourth and struck out. Two balls and no strikes on the hitter, Alvarado. So we're going to miss strike one. One strike with the runner at second and one out here in the top half of the six. Pickoff play was uh, put in motion and uh, late coming over was uh, Jacob. Time is called. One count, one out. How's that one off? And that's the Ram Country out of world foul ball. Evens out the count at two balls and two strikes. So 2-2 two -two count. Runner at second, reached on an error. Two-two pitch on its way, and climbs the ladder there, trying to get him to chase a high fastball. Makes it a full count now. Three balls and two strikes on the hitter Alvarado. This is uh, Alvarado's third trip to the plate, has faced uh, Heredia the third time. So three-two pitch on its way with one out. Heredia checks the sign, gets the sign, comes set. And a ground ball, just foul. And that's the Ram Country out of world, foul ball. On deck is number 12, he'll be pinch hitting for Ivan Garza. And number 12 is Jacob Paez. So a 3-2 pitch as Heredia gets the sign. Checks the runner. 3-2 pitch on its way. And that one hit to right field. Right fielder and that one falls foul. 3-2 pitch falls foul and that's the Ram Country out of world foul ball. So 3-2, we'll do it all over again. 3-2 pitch on its way. One out, runner at second. Comes set. And fouls that one off. Almost hit my... <laughs> so that one is a foul ball. It's a Ram Country out of world foul ball. <laughs> we'll redo a 3-2 pitch here. A 
Heredia comes set from the stretch, checks the runner over at second. And in the dirt, try to make him chase. Did not budge and walks. Alvarado gets uh, trots over to first. And now runners at uh, first and second. Runners at first and second for the hitter, the pinch hitter. As Heredia will uh, exit here uh, as he finishes uh, his uh, day. And he goes uh, five and five and a third. As Heredia's line today is five and a third innings, five strikeouts, three walks, five hits, one run, and one earned as he uh, exits the uh, the game. And now David Lopez, number 13, comes in, and uh, he is uh, a junior returning letterman from a year ago. Lopez, sponsored by the law offices of Knickerbocker Heredia Salinas Salinas as a private investigator David Lopez 830-968-3170 is the number to call if you're injured in an accident. So runners at first and second with one out and Lopez will come in to uh, try and uh, preserve that 2-1 lead that the Eagles have. And one out in the inning, so we're in the six. So now the hitter, the pinch hitter, Baez. Jacob Baez comes in. And uh, there is a, I uh, believe there's a pinch runner for Acosta, and that's number 24, Aaron Gonzalez. First pitch to Baez is a ball. Ground ball to first base, and tag at uh, tags the base. So Baez is retired, three unassisted for out number two. Two outs, runners advance to second and third. It's for Mikey Contreras, who had an infield hit his last time up, so he's one for two. So number four will now come in, and that's uh, Jorge Oyervides. Oyervides uh, was a courtesy runner. Now he's a pinch hitter. That's Jorge Oyervides for Mikey Contreras with two outs here in the inning. Runners at second and third. Two outs, and that one is a ball. So one ball. And a ground ball to the pitcher, to the throw to first. And 
That's the ball game, ladies and gentlemen. As uh, David Lopez comes in and gets two ground balls to end the uh, the game. So Yorvides grounds out to the pitcher. 1-3 for out number three. And that retires no runs on uh, no hits, no errors, and two left on base. Actually, one error, excuse me, and one left on base. We're going to... Go to commercials and we'll be back with more after this. You're watching Real Sports Live Southwest.com. Join us. We got equipment for everything from machines to street weights to bumpers. You name it, we got it. Come check us out, guys. Rodi's Country Fried Chicken, located in 1910 at Indio Highway, wants to wish the Eagle Pass Eagles and the CC Wood Mavericks a successful 2018-2019 season. Order online through Facebook and save 10% on your purchase. From the Rodriguez family, come by before or after the game and enjoy some great food. That's it. So we have this game completed from Eagle pa from Laredo, Texas, the Student Activity Center. As uh, the 2019 Whataburger of Alice Border Olympics baseball tournament, 48 teams showcase. As uh, we have our players of the game, Ray Ray Mendoza, who went two for three with uh, an RBI and a run scored. And Eric Heredia, who went to five and a third, five strikeouts, three walks, five hits, one run earned as he gets the victory two to one. And we want to thank everybody who's joined us on our YouTube channel and, of course, our website. Make sure, don't forget, catch the 6 o'clock game as we have a, a 6 o'clock game today. And then after that, uh, we have uh, the Eagles uh, playing... Again at uh, 8.15. So we still got some more baseball. For Marky Sanchez, I'm Freddy Redia. Thank you very much for joining us. Keep talking sports. Real Sports Live Southwest.com.